Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Wet Money on the Keys with Bankroller Records. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make some dank house music in FL Studio. So without further ado, let me just jump right into it. So I already had a skeleton um, because this shit crashed on me like twice today. Um, I'll just explain the process behind it. Uh, so first things first is uh, you start at a low volume. Always start at a low volume. I started at 42. Um, and the reason is because you can always add volume. Uh, if you start at low volume and it sounds great, add more volume. It's going to sound even better. Um, so start at a low volume. It's always easier to mix and it'll save your ears. Um, tip number two would be to save often because this thing does crash. And, um, yeah, just, just make sure to save, just save, 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 you know, um, tip number three would be sound selection. Make sure to spend more than like 15, more than 20, maybe 30 min minutes on, on just simple sound selection because the sounds you use are very important, um, in whatever track you're making it. And, um, that rolls right into tip number four, which would be to have a direction, um, to know where you're going to take your sound. Um. And yeah, so I got my kicks from Lex Luger. Um, I got my claps from from some, I think it was some lo-fi pack actually. Um, some hi-hats, generic hi-hat. Um, I got this dank one, I don't know from where. I think it was a little Wayne song. Um, this, these chords, I think I got them from Somatics. I'm not entirely sure, but uh, this is how they sound. You know, just a simple, uh, A minor chord, I think, just looped on loop forever. Um, a crackle from a lo-fi pack. Uh, I got a snare from... I think it was one of the uh, the house kits from Somatics, or I don't know from where. Um, I got these this Grand Theft Auto perk. I have no idea where the hell I found it, but yeah. Um, and then my tag. What money on the keys? Uh, we got a crash, a reverse crash to be exact. The regular crash is like this. Um, the ride was way too low so I added some volume but you can also press this normalize button and that will just maximize the volume for you um and then what I did uh was I I, I made the kicks first so I made it I made a simple one two pattern and it sounded like this sixteen bars uh for the kick snare pattern um after that I added the hi hats and the claps, same thing. Sixteen bars. I don't know why there's more of them. Uh but sixteen bars and then what you want to do is what I did, I guess, was I took the, the really good hi hat and I made the velocity of the top notes a little higher and what you want to do with the bottom notes is you kinda wanna play around so it doesn't sound so mechanical. You don't want to copy and paste. Um and if you compare it to the other hi hats these hi-hats are just a tiny bit lower in velocity. And this hi-hat, I actually panned it. Panned it to the left, so it sounds like this. Same with the clap. Um, and then I just, I was listening to both of them together, and that's how, this is how they sound right here. after I threw the synth in. Uh, the synth I got from uh, Nexus and it was a detuned lead. I didn't touch any of the knobs. I just went in for it. And uh, for the synth, I basically um, did an arpeggio on the A minor chord and then played around uh, with the melody. And so for the melody, you kind of 
you kind of want it to go up and then down or you want it to go down and then back up um, so that's the key to a good melody it always comes back to the root note and in this case the root note is A so with that being said um, I had this synth right here <laughs> And after that, I was like, oh, I need something else So in, in, in the percussion. So I added the rides. And uh, the rides and the crashes usually come together. So what I did for the crashes was I made uh, them on every every first part of the beat. Or every other first part of the beat. And this is how the, the, r and the rides were every fourth. And I also modulated the velocity just so it doesn't sound boring. And this is how the rides... You know, I mean, kind of adds a little more bounce. Um, and uh, for the crash, I actually added just a tiny bit of the delay, just so it sounds like it's moving because it was cut off. So um, after that, this is how it sounded with the. Basically, after that, I was like, um, percussion needs the perks, and uh, that's basically like rims and, and everything else, you know, that you can think of. Um, so I added the perks, and the perks were right here. Um, I don't think I added anything to the actual perks in the mastering. Oh, I added a compressor, um, but like they were just so bland. That <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like. literally just just so that they would be there and after that um it sounded pretty good <laughs> you know i mean just just add a little bit more oomph and after i made that first synth i was like uh I need some kind of vocals, some vocals, um, and so I went to my handy dandy Nexus and I chose this uh, voice, voice flute vocal thing, and I played around with this decay, played around with the sustain, the release, this decay, this sustain, this release, uh, turned down the mix and turned down the delay, almost all the way, um, and then played around with these uh, low, uh, low cut and high cut, low cut and high cut on uh, on the vox itself and with the vox it actually started sounding pretty good like i think it starts right here argue that these vox or whatever are actually what drives the, the whole entire song uh, rather than the melody itself um and then i was like okay well every track needs a pad and uh because the pad is kind of like the texture you absolutely need texture to fill in the white space of the track um and so after that i threw the pads in but you kind of want to drop them in sparingly i don't know this so they sounded kind of dissonant at first but then i like played around with the, the actual sound and uh, it sounds like this
just fills in that space and after everything was done i was basically like um i'm gonna throw in some some more vo vocals and i found this uh larry june sample that sounded like like this God damn. you know and, and so i threw that in sparingly but kind of want to throw it in rarely almost rarely like a rare steak because uh, if you overdo it you sound like an amateur but if you drop it in at a precise moment you sound like a pro so just note that um you kind of want to make use of silences too uh and uh that's why i kind of have some empty parts right here and right here and right here and right here um because a uh, silence is sometimes more powerful than the actual sound and basically what i did after was i dropped in the bass line and the bass line kind of ties everything together and makes sure it sounds dank um bass line is actually what drives any house song so you kind of want to take your time on that too um overall i think this project took me like three hours and recording of this video took me another like four hours because this shit crashed on me <laughs> but uh it sounds like this <laughs>
full house song in I guess a day um, but it really is uh, a function of how much effort you put into it so the more time and uh, effort you put into the development of this of this little masterpiece you know the better it'll sound you put your 10,000 hours in anyways like and subscribe to the video um, comment how the hell I can fix this thing uh, and uh, more videos whenever I have inspiration <laughs> doses